My current research at the moment is really quite broad. Um, the, I work at the interface between the arts and humanities, particularly archaeology, um, but trying to find questions which are very difficult to answer unless you start integrating computing and visualisation. So really I work at this boundary between trying to understand cultural questions about the past but those sorts of questions which you can't address unless you start reconstructing, um, start modelling and visualising past landscapes, objects and movement of people. In terms of specifics of, of the sort of work we do, I'm working with, with museums and with art galleries uh, and looking at collections. So uh, for example I've been working at digitising, three-dimensional digitising of a collection of Egyptological items from Eton College. Uh, now this is trying to make this sort of material accessible to scholars for analysis, to the general public for interest, to schools uh, for, for learning and so on. So the actual impact, at one level it's local, it's, it's Birmingham, it's, it's to do with museums and collections and, and the people here, but then much more broadly via the internet it, it hits everybody. So I think from a global p uh, perspective the mechanisms that we're working on from taking a physical object through to a three-dimensional item to something which other people can access at every level is, is globally important. In Birmingham, undergraduates have the unique opportunity to be at the cutting edge of this sort of research. Um, we have the, the first course in the country of, it's called Virtual Worlds. It actually allows students practical access, these art students, access to science. They access um, all the software, the laser scanning, the modelling, that the, the, they do the suite of activities that we're involved in as, as a group and this is, this is the only place they can do it. So undergraduates are brought into this in a practical sense right from the outset.